Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a video today on, it's something that I see banded around on Instagram, social media a lot, and um, this is my opinion, um, obviously everyone's entitled to their own. So I see a lot of posts about being a goddess or being a divine feminine and it either gets hashtagged in things or um, like it gets written on things and for me personally, I mean, A, I don't even really know what um, what a goddess or a divine, I meant to say divine feminine at the beginning, or a divine feminine really is. Um, I don't know if we have some kind of meter or there's a label, but I do know that there are kind of qualities that um, you could say, you know, there's divine feminine qualities that are the other side of the coin of the sort of more fallen feminine qualities. So to step into your divine feminine is to step into your more like empowered feminine, your higher vibrational feminine, let's call it. Um, and a goddess is, I mean, it means something different for everybody, right? But I strongly believe these things are all energetic. And the minute you have to announce yourself as a goddess or a divine feminine, then you're probably not one because it should precede you. <laughs> like it should precede you as you walk into a room, as somebody looks at the energy in your eyes, your whole vibe and aura. And I, I believe we can sort of have stage, stages of it too. Like I'm, I'm, there's not really like a medal when it's like, oh, you're a divine feminine now, or you're a, a goddess, but we definitely can tap into those those energies and we can definitely get to a point where we sustain them more often than we don't sustain them. But as soon as you start having to hashtag yourself or tell yourself you're this, then I seriously would question that you're probably not because you wouldn't have, like it would precede you energetically and people would know that, you know, a, a empowered energy had walked into the room and it wouldn't need to be announced. Um, they often come along with posts as well that are like they're either a naked photo with all about the divine feminine or um, yeah like generally there's something like very naked and, and all about looking hot and like I'm a goddess and I'm this and I can express my natural form now the thing is, it's, it's uh, to me anyways, it's all an energy thing. So you can actually do all the same things and they can all come from completely different energy places. So, um, and that's even within yourself. You can do something one day and some, the same thing the next day and it could come from a, a completely different energy place and it would be felt and received in a completely different way. But I feel like we've got to this point where we are trying to make the goddess and the divine feminine about our physical bodies um even if it's like look at me i'm embracing that i'm larger than other women or that i'm not perfect and look at me i'm a goddess but you're still like externalizing it so much and rather than knowing that it's like a real inner energy and it doesn't really matter like what age you are how you look like you can you can be 90 and you can have that goddess energy about you because it's just that it's an energy. I mean, to me, what a goddess is, it's sort of somebody that's authentic, they're self-empowered, they're heart-centered, but I don't mean in like a wishy-washy, oh, all is love, like I'm kind to everybody. It's not, a ni it's not being nice, it's being empowered, it's being authentic, it's being true to who you are, it's being heart-centered in your decisions. Um, that's what the, that is to me. Um, it might mean something different to other people, but I do feel like we've gone into a world where we're externalizing these qualities and making them about external things when it's really an inner journey and it's an inner energy and it doesn't need to sort of be announced in that way. And I don't really have a problem with what anybody posts. I mean, if you want to, if you think, oh, I look really cute in this <laughs> bikini today, just post it. But there's a real inauthenticity it feels in me when it's accompanied with a spiritual quote or 
like a hashtag of I'm a goddess or I'm a divine feminine because it's just you in a bikini. Um, and I do think we can fall into that trap of being a bit overly spiritual. I had that myself for a while where I was like, didn't want to post things because I thought, oh, it's not really very enlightened or maybe that's an ego thing. And actually I feel a lot more free now because I'm just like, you know, sod it if I want to post it <laughs> or if I just feel an urge and just post it. Um, we don't have to be these like, perfect beings and there's nothing wrong with posting ourselves on the beach in a bikini or whatever you want to do but that isn't what to me makes somebody a goddess and actually when you put those two things together and you try and call yourself a goddess through a naked photo even if it's a less perfect photo um you're very much externalizing what should be an inner felt energy. And it really, honestly, I, I just, anytime somebody announces those things to me or on a post, I'm just like, well, you're not one. Because anybody that really embodies those energies really doesn't need to go around pushing it in people's faces and trying to tell people what they are. They just are, they just be, and they, and people, they radiate and people are drawn to that. And like I said, we have days when we have a bit more of those energies and days when we've dropped out a bit, but you know, other people will very quickly tell you what you're resonating within. In fact, they're going to show you because we create our reality. So how people treat you. So if you're meeting um, guys that don't treat you very well, then you've not embodied your goddess energy. You're not, I'm a goddess and, you know, but I've got men that treat me badly. You've not stepped into that power because once you stepped into that power, you're going to attract different guys. The guys are going to treat you differently because that energy will be mirrored into your outer experience by either, um, you know, new people coming in or those people transforming you. And we do it to people too. We go into a room and sometimes you treat one person very differently to how you treat another person. Um, and that's because we feel something in their energy, like maybe they intimidate us. And they don't need to walk into the room and say, hey, I'm really powerful and I intimidate you all. They actually just need to be there. And it's like a felt experience. So that's just my little um rant of the day and um i hope everybody is doing really well and i'll speak to you all soon